This past Saturday, the IU men's tennis team defended their home court in a Big Ten matchup against the Michigan State Spartans. The day was all about the Hoosiers as the men would go on to sweep the Spartans in every matchup, marking the fourth time this season that the Hoosiers have shut out their opponents. It all started with some strong doubles performances. While most eyes were on Payam Amadi and Brandon Lamb in the number one doubles matchup, it was Zach Rodney and Bennett Crane on court two that opened the day with a 6-2 win for the Hoosiers. Not long after, the Hoosiers found both their number one and number three doubles pairs at match point at the same exact time. And although the number three could only manage a tie, Amadi and Lamb prevailed with a 6-4 victory to seal off the doubles matches. No, definitely. I think there were times when they had us on our, on our back heels there. Uh, when, we, when I got broken, uh, I think it was two, uh, two all, um, three all in the match. So three all, I think, and, and we had to come up with some some good returns, some good points there uh, uh, on their serve. And, and to get that break back, I think that just totally uh, gave a momentum shift for the match, and we felt really good on his serve. And then when we, when we broke him uh, on that deuce point at five four was was just some some unbelievable returning by us, and, and Brandon really helped me through that. He's he's been doing a great job this season, so. It was, a, it was a great end. IU made quick work of the singles as well, winning five of the six matches in straight sets. Bennett Crane, Vikash Singh, Zach Brodney, and Antonio Kambelin all notched early victories for the Hoosiers, and Kambelin improved to 9-3 on the season as IU's top single player. The two remaining single matchups would conclude with tiebreakers as Brandon Lamb on number six would outlast his competition in a second set tiebreaker, and Andrew Redding would make a comeback to win a third set tiebreaker and complete the sweep. With this dominant performance, the Hoosiers will improve to nine and seven on the year and three and one in Big Ten play. Well, I mean, like, a 7-0 win is always great, you know. Hopefully you can just like ride the confidence, you know, ride the wave into the match tomorrow and just get some good wins. I think uh, Ohio State is the, is the one that all of us are, are marking down right now just because, yeah, I mean, that's one of, if not the best team in college tennis right now and, and one of the greatest college tennis coaches ever, Ty Tucker, coming into our building and they've got some unbelievable professional players so that's a lot of fun to be able to go out there and, and swing away and, and uh, you know, have a shot at them, at, you know, especially with, uh, you know, in, the, in a college tennis format and the season that we've been having, it's, uh, it's, been, it's been a good ride so far. For the Hoosier Network, this has been Sean Neath.